Philip Michael Thomas was born on May 26, 1949, in Columbus, Ohio, USA. He was raised in a large family, being one of 10 children. Thomas developed an interest in acting and entertainment at a young age, performing in local theater productions and participating in talent shows. After completing high school, Thomas attended Oakwood University in Huntsville, Alabama, where he studied religion and philosophy. However, he eventually left college to pursue his passion for acting full time. In the early 1970s, Thomas moved to Los Angeles to further his acting career. He initially struggled to find work, but eventually began landing small roles in television shows such as Wonder Woman and Startsky and Hutch. His breakthrough came when he was cast as the role of Detective Ricardo Tubbs in the hit television series Miami Vice in 1984, which catapulted him to fame and made him a household name. Philip Michael Thomas played the role of Detective Ricardo Tubbs in the television series Miami Vice. Tubbs is a New York City police detective who relocates to Miami after the murder of his brother, Raphael Tubbs, by a drug dealer named Calderon. In Miami, Tubbs teams up with Sonny Crockett, played by Don Johnson, to investigate drug trafficking and other crimes as part of an undercover vice squad. Tubbs is depicted as a skilled and dedicated detective with a strong sense of justice. He is known for his smooth and charismatic personality, as well as his impeccable fashion sense. Throughout the series, Tubb often goes undercover to infiltrate criminal organizations, using his street smarts and intelligence to gather information and take down criminals. One of the most notable aspects of Philip Michael Thomas's portrayal of Tubbs was his chemistry with Don Johnson's character, Sonny Crockett. The dynamic between Tubbs and Crockett formed the heart of the show, and their partnership was central to many of the series' storylines. Thomas's performance as Ricardo Tubbs received critical acclaim and contributed significantly to the success of Miami Vice. The character became an iconic figure in popular culture, and Thomas's portrayal helped solidify his status as a television star. The success of Miami Vice propelled Michael Thomas to international fame and established him as a prominent figure in popular culture during the 1980s. His portrayal of Ricardo Tubbs earned him critical acclaim and garnered several award nominations. Following the conclusion of Miami Vice in 1989, Thomas continued to work in television, film, and music, although he never quite replicated the same level of success he achieved with the iconic series. Nonetheless, his role in Miami Vice remains his most enduring legacy, solidifying his status as a television icon. Philip Michael Thomas has an estimated net worth of $4 million. His income sources include his acting and musical career. Beyond his acclaimed acting career, he has ventured into various business endeavors, showcasing his entrepreneurial spirit. One notable venture is his foray into music production and entertainment. Thomas established his own record label, Spaceship Records, through which he released several albums and singles. Additionally, he has been involved in real estate investments, including the development and ownership of properties. Thomas has also ventured into the world of technology, exploring opportunities in app development and digital media. Throughout his diverse business ventures, Philip Michael Thomas has demonstrated versatility and a keen eye for innovation, establishing himself not only as a talented actor, but also as a savvy entrepreneur. Philip Michael Thomas, the renowned actor known for his iconic role as Detective Ricardo Tubbs in the hit television series Miami Vice, resides in a luxurious mansion befitting his status as a television icon. With his successful career spanning decades, Thomas has amassed considerable wealth, allowing him to indulge in a lavish lifestyle. His $3 million mansion excludes opulence, boosting sprawling grounds, 
breathtaking views, and state-of-the-art amenities. Nestled in an exclusive neighborhood, the mansion serves as a sanctuary where Thomas can unwind and enjoy the fruits of his labor. Whether entertaining guests in the grandiose living spaces or relaxing by the poolside oasis, Philip Michael Thomas's magnificent mansion is a testament to his enduring success in the entertainment industry. Philip Michael Thomas has been involved in various relationships throughout his life. One notable relationship was with singer Dionne Warwick in the late 1970s. The couple had a son together named David Thomas. Miami Vice star Philip Michael Thomas was once married to Cassandra Thomas, the woman who bore five children for him. Philip Michael Thomas is best known as the smooth-talking investigator Ricardo Rico Tufts in the famous television series Miami Vice. But not many know that he is a family man who has had up to 11 kids with five different women. Among the five, he was only married to one. Her name is Cassandra Thomas, and Philip shares five children with her. Meet the woman who managed to hold him down for the short time it took before their relationship disintegrated. Cassandra is a gorgeous model whose good looks resonate in all her children, just as much as Phillips does. She and the famous actor were married between 1986 and 1998. She is mother to five of his kids, including the one popularly known as Imaj, a country singer-songwriter who co-wrote eight tracks on her self-titled debut album which was released in November. A LinkedIn profile linked to Cassandra describes her as Imaj's manager, and almost every post she makes on her personal Facebook page has a bit of the talented youngster in it, often in the form of pictures or just a casual mention. In a past interview, Imaj once revealed that both her parents had been quite open with them as children often encouraging them to pursue their dreams. Philip had a rougher up. It was such a nurturing upbringing that she grew up believing that there is nothing she cannot become should she choose to pursue it, a mentality that helped her career blossom. Even though they went their separate ways a long time ago, Cassandra and her former husband have kept surrounding their daughter in their own ways. Philip gave her a stage to shine when she was just five by letting her feature alongside him in the film River of Stone, while her mother remains her current manager. Sometime in 1997, people reported that Cassandra claimed Phillips had roughed her up when he grabbed her in when she described as a police hold that got the kids crying. He denied the allegation. As an entertainer, Philip has had a successful run. He does not make headlines as much as he used to. However, he does not mean he is no longer relevant. He is still, as they say, a man of action, doing multiple things rooted in his passions, art and entertainment. For him, there is nothing else he can be until the day he draws his last breath. His son Gabriel, known as Philip Jr., started a career in the music industry as an R&B singer. He's worked on albums with Grammy-winning producers like Akon, Tank, and Shakespeare. He released his debut album, Box Theory, through his own indie label called Snatch Digital Entertainment, and has been working non-stop to continue providing fans with a universal sound that resonates with a diverse audience. Meanwhile, Gabriel's half-sister, India, decided to follow her mom's steps by getting into theater acting from a young age. She has appeared on numerous TV commercials and can also sing. Imaj is a country singer who is managed by her mom. She has made appearances in several TV shows and performed for small audiences across the country. Her sophomore album, America's Sweetheart, released in 2016, caught the attention of the public with the signal, Colorblind. Dear viewers, the story continues as we take you to see the beauty of his shiny car collection. Now cars are in the realm of luxury cars. Philip Michael Thomas boosts an impressive collection that excuse opulence and power. His first prized possession is the Rolls Royce Phantom, drophead coupe, the pinnacle of luxury with a price tag of around $600,000.
it's not just a car, it's work of art on wheels. Beneath its sleek exterior lies a powerful 6.7 liter naturally aspirated V12 aluminum alloy engine that represents the perfect combination of performance and luxury of the Phantom Drophead Coupe. It doesn't just rely on its stunning aesthetics, it boosts advanced features like direct fuel injection, four-wheel disc brakes, power steering, and quad exhaust. These elements contribute to a superior driving experience, promising a journey that is both luxurious and efficient. Next, the Mercedes-Benz considered the epitome of both performance and luxury. With the price of $150,000 for its finely crafted masterpiece, perfectly combines strength and elegance. Under the hood, the S63 boosts a familiar twin-turbo V8 engine that showcases Mercedes-Benz renowned engineering powers is what sets this car apart. Is the integration of the AMG rear electric motor. Taking its performance to the next level, step inside S63 will bring you luxury. The cabin is a testament to meticulously craftsmanship featuring AMG-specific upholstery and stitching that redefines comfort and style. Every detail executes sophistication, creating an atmosphere that goes beyond mere transportation, like the embodiment of American muscle in the garage. Ford Mustang wins hearts thanks to its outstanding design and impressive features. With a reasonable price of about $45,000, under the hood lies the heart of the Mustang. Powerful 5.0 liter V8 engine that unleashes raw power, embodying the true spirit of American muscle cars. However, for those who like thrills and are conscious of their budget, the EcoBoost turbocharged four cylinder offers an equally fun but more economical alternative. One of the Mustang's defining characteristics is its versatile design that excuses timeless appeal. Standard seats prioritize comfort, ensuring an enjoyable driving experience for car enthusiasts and daily commuters alike. For those looking for a performance boost, optional Recarco Sport seats with bolt doors are an attractive upgrade, taking the driving experience to the next level. The above cars are really extremely diverse and luxurious, right? Please comment below which car do you like?